Hey guys, welcome to this new video. I'm saying hello from Sri Lanka. I'm here on a five day trip, mini holiday, little getaway um, with JD and it's actually day two already. So yesterday when we landed, it was eight in the morning. We didn't really get any sleep on the flight so we were completely shattered to be honest and we just kind of like snoozed on the way to Kandy. So yesterday we spent um, day uh, water rafting, which was a really cool experience. I do have some GoPro clips. I just didn't have a chance to have a look at them yet. So once I'm editing, I might insert some of them, you know, as a like little filler shot or um, just see if any thing is worth showing. Um, it was my first time doing something like this. It wasn't like really intense because they have like different levels. So we went for the one that's kind of like beginner, intermediate. It was really, really fun. Um, and I picked up the camera today and I was like wondering what should I tell you guys? So uh, yesterday we were um, washing some elephants in a sanctuary, like an orphanage kind of. And it was quite nice, but I didn't feel good doing it because like they are, like they're treating the animals with a lot of like love and care i'm sure but we don't really know what happens when you know all the tourists leave we were like very last ones because we came there around 5 pm so they were just closing um the place and you know the elephants were gonna go uh eat their dinner and go to sleep but it was just like that thought you know that i don't really know if it's a re really honest and fair place that's why i just also didn't really feel comfortable filming there and showing it to you because i'm sure a lot of people are way more educated in this topic than i am and i just didn't really want to say that oh i support it or i don't support it because of course it depends on the place and um yeah, it was just a unique experience something i wanted to try they offered us to ride the elephant but of course we said no you know we just wanted to see them from up close and um, they seem like really, you know, well taken care of, so I hope that they are treated well. But then again, maybe some of you know more about this and you can share, you know, your opinions and feedbacks in the comment section. And uh, right now, as I mentioned, I think we are in Kandy, which is, or Kandy, <laughs> it's spelled with a K, but I don't want to say Kandy because it sounds weird, but I think that's how you pronounce it. So let's say it correctly. I think we are in Kandy and today we're going on the super, super cool uh, scenic train ride to Ella. Uh, we're not doing the whole uh, train ride, which is about seven hours. We're just taking the train from Novaria Ella and it's supposed to be a lot shorter and that's like the most scenic part. So we have a driver for all those day that we're here he's gonna take us um today to the place where we're catching the train and then i'll update you guys throughout the day as we um uh, go about and uh yeah i wanted to show you actually our very cool room it is quite lovely it's called liquid residence um and they have like a pool upstairs we just had like a lovely breakfast it's a little bit messy we have to pack oh by the way i forgot to tell you guys this is really um uh kind of funny story so we decided to get um backpacks instead of suitcases and we were literally like at 7 p.m and our flight was at 2 a.m and we were still shopping for the bags we got matching ones from the north face and they're actually really spacious but i found it a little bit difficult to pack and then jd was like hey you know that there's a zipper on the side so actually you don't really have to reach and get all this stuff like this you can just unzip and access everything like this we're gonna pack now and hit the road i'm wearing these pants from jennifer and this top from bishop and young we're gonna make some coffee before we go and we're using JD's little gift which is nano presso because in the breakfast they had just the instant coffee and we're both not really big fans of instant coffee Sorry, thank you the good thing about this one is that you can use also the ground coffee so just add the hot water and you make your own little espresso they say you should do one without like any coffee in it. In oh, like at the beginning, yeah. Just to like warm everything up so that the coffee is oh, like, super hot. Oh, nice. But we didn't do that. No, we didn't. And there's like special pumping techniques, which I don't, I read about, but I don't employ. 
I don't know what to do. That's good enough. Did you put the milk in there? Yeah, I did. And say voila, coffee is ready. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It's actually really, really good. The campers are ready to go. Show us the backpack one more time. Super big, super, super big. I'm like struggling with mine, owie. Before we have to check out, I just quickly wanted to show you in the daylight. The breakfast area, so beautiful. Right here. This was the pool. I was just chilling here last night. Didn't have a chance to swim because it was actually quite cold in the evening. But it's really, really beautiful. Look at this. So yeah, I would highly recommend to stay here if you guys come to Candy. Wow, how big is this backpack? We just arrived to the Buddhist temple. We had to remove our shoes. He had to remove his cap. Beautiful. Found some information inside. I can't pronounce the name. Ooh, they have different postures as well. Wow. Samadhi. Interesting. I wonder, this I wonder what they mean, the postures. Like, this one has the hand on the lap, and there's three other ones. Oh, I really want to learn about these. Why, why they all have different poses? Like, what does this mean, for example? You know? Very interesting. But this seems to be the most popular samadhi. Very cool place. So on the way to Novarelia, we stopped at the tea plantation, and this is Glenlock Tea Factory. There's a lot along the way, and our driver recommended this one. And this lovely lady will show the factory where they produce the tea. By the way, random fact. Um, Sri Lanka is the fourth biggest Salem tea producer from what I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but wow, this is so cool. Green tea. <laughs> so this is the green tea, right? No, this is black tea. Black tea? Yeah. Oh! Before. I expected the leaves to be darker. <laughs> really? Green and black, same plant. Okay. Can I film you? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Welcome to our factory. Thank you. Our factory name Glenlock. Glenlock. 140 years old. Wow. Beautiful. The factory started by a Scottish person. That's why our name Glenlock. Glenlock. Uh, Sounds very Scottish, yeah. We have 150 acres tea garden. Outside working only 100 workers for picking. Factory inside only 50 workers. Uh, you know, each plant we can keep more than 70 years. But at plant, we want pruning every four years. After pruning, we are given some break, six months. Then we yes. can pick tea. Okay. But for tea, no season. We can pick all year round. All year! But uh, each plant, we can pick once a week. Okay, not more often. Yeah, but we won't pick only three leaves with the bud. This plant, we can produce green tea and black tea. For green tea, we use only young leaves. For black tea, we can use everything. Only process different. Mm -hmm. You know white tea? Yeah. For white tea, we use only tea bud. White tea have different tea plant. But no. So vegetables. it comes from the same plant. White tea different plant. Oh, different. No, but I mean in general, the green and the yeah, black comes yeah. from the same one. Yeah. Just different parts. Yeah. Wow. White tea, no machines. It's separate by hand. Then only sun dry. White tea also like green tea, it's herbal tea, but white tea better than green. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you can see our black tea process. Okay. Here, first step, we call as withering. Withering meaning remove water. In here, we remove 50% moisture. We use fan air for withering process. We want to keep here 12 hours. This yeah. before you put yeah. it to next day. Okay. Each line we can put 1200 kilograms. After 12 hours, we come in 600 kilograms. Uh, now, this one already 50% dry. After this process, oh, yeah. till it cut in and crush it. Now, you can see our second step. Okay. Machine. Okay. Look at this. <gasps> that is so cool. I will never look at the tea bag same way again after this. Wow. 
So this roller machine over there crushes the tea leaves and they do this process up to three times each time, I think 20 minutes they said. And look how much work goes into this. It smells really, really nice to be honest with you. Hello! <laughs> So for this particular type, which is the black tea, they said they use water, like coming from the fans, and they leave it here after crushing it to sort of start the oxidation process, they said. And only the black tea goes through this. So in total, there are seven steps, and this is like the third step. Black and brown mixture. Hey, black one from leaf. The brown one from a stem. Oh, okay. Stems we can't drink, they don't have any taste. So you have to remove it? Yeah, from that machine we are separate. Wow. After separation, the stems particle we can use as a compost. So this is now... Black this, one we This can is drink. cleaned already. Yeah. For five different sizes. Because tea taste depends on sizes. Tea taste is on different sizes. Yeah. Smaller size very strong, big size very light. Ah. So the smaller the tea, the better. Well, the stronger the taste basically. She said this is English breakfast tea guys. I'm not sure if you can hear me because it's super loud here, but she said that this tea is later sent to Colombo and then over there they brand it to like Lipton, Dilma and all those famous brands. So basically this is uh, resold to the big brands. This one B-O-P-A Broken, orange, pickle, fine. Broken mean dragon tea leaf, cut and crush. Orange mean natural color of the tea, not orange flavor. Pickle means tea motherland is China. Pickle coming from China. What's coming from China? For plant, seeds coming from China. Oh. Original. Then here you can see oolong tea. Oolong is kind of green tea, but it's semi fermented. Because you don't ferment the green tea, you said, yeah. 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 No, all green is same. We use that English breakfast tea. Then we are adding some bergamot oil. Oh, you add oil to it. Yeah, big oil. We just finished at the tea factory and we are getting ready for another hour of the drive to Novariella. I keep struggling to pronounce the name of that town. Um, and we're gonna just stop somewhere on the way for like a nice viewpoint, they said. So we're spending a lot of this trip in the car, but it's nice because you don't have to drive yourself or worry and the roads are quite like narrow and yeah i would probably really struggle if we had to drive ourselves here um because we did drive in hawaii so it was kind of easy there but here it's a little bit complicated so it's nice to have a driver and just you know um kind of enjoy the places you go to instead of worrying how you get there crackers cookies cookies yeah, yeah. other things are mongoli mongoli and I got us some traditional Sri Lankan sweets. This seems very crispy. What's the other one? Show me. Ooh, interesting. This looks like some protein ball. This contains coconut flour, coconut oil. You said coconut milk as well, right? Yeah. And JD doesn't like coconut, but he likes this. It reminds me of Jagarelli which was something that we have in Lithuania and my grandma used to make it very very nice here we are at the Novarelia train station these are the tickets for Ella we bought second class whatever that means because there were second class third class and these were like double the price but I think these ones are supposedly more open the wagons so hopefully we get a better view this is the second class cabin we're gonna start moving I've never been on a train where the door is open
the first impression is that it looks a lot like Ubud. This one? Chill. Okay. Chill. Yeah. They, they also have a rooftop. Wow, there's Lots so many cool places. Doesn't it remind you of Ubud? It reminds me of that place in Bali where La Favela is. The oh. street, you know? <laughs> How did you find the train ride? Uh, it was very nice. Not it too was, long? No, it wasn't. It wasn't too long, actually. It was just enough time. Uh, any longer and I would have gotten a bit bored. But I yeah. was, I was I still enjoying it. Is it the hotel? I fell asleep towards the end of the train ride. I just couldn't. Got a bit of drool on my shoulder. It's Did still, I? It's still no wet. way. It's still I wet. don't drool. Hi, Sanat. <laughs> this is where we're staying. At La Camilla. And Didi's already down with our backpacks. But by the way, there's a very cute tea place over there. Apparently it's famous for some YouTube video where a guy had a cup of tea and he loved the view and everything so much that he gave a 1,000 euro tip. So we're gonna definitely try and see if the tea is that good there. But now let's go check out our hotel. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <gasps> right? Beautiful, huh? Wow. This is unreal. This is probably the most beautiful view I've ever had from a hotel room. Uh, I don't know. Which one? Which one would you argue? Maldives. Oh yeah, Maldives. Oh my god, yeah, sorry, yeah. That was a good view. That was insane. That was, yeah. True, I forgot about that, sorry. Yay! <laughs> Watermelon? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank oh, you. <laughs> I wanted to give you two pieces of advice if you're gonna take that um, scenic route train. Uh, first of all, take um, a jacket or a sweater with you because it definitely does get a little bit chilly there with the windows and all the doors open because um, you're so high up in the mountains. And number two, uh, take the train from Novaria Ella instead of Candy because <laughs> definitely, definitely three hours is more than enough on the train and a lot of the people that we met on the train they were coming from Candy and they said it's super super long because you have to leave at like 11 in the morning and you get here at around 6 so it's better to come here from Novaria Ella and you're still gonna enjoy the train ride and I forgot, actually tip number three, don't forget a hand sanitizer like we did. We forgot a hand sanitizer and it's very bleh, icky there. So take that with you. But it's good. But it's good. It's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, we're just pooped. We're like <laughs> sitting here enjoying this view. And yeah, we're going to get ready for dinner. We freshened up, changed into a different outfit and we're ready to go for dinner. So let's check out the nightlife in Ella. Anyone else snacks before dinner? Or is it just us? Yum! On the bar for now? What do you think of this place? Say very Tulum vibes, but just the music is a bit too techno. For it's my... a bit too like hyped up. But although we are at the bar upstairs where everyone else is just drinking alcohol, we're the only ones eating. Oh, so speaking of the food, of, uh, speaking of the food, different vibes. Oh, that's for you. Yeah. I ordered a seafood pizza. Yeah, thank you so much. And JD got prawn curry on toast. And it's time to go home. Although, looks like yeah. the town is still alive. We're back in our little hotel. And we just realized it's so strange. There's literally just two apartments. So our neighbors upstairs and us down there. Crazy. Very cool concept. I quite like that. And I would personally recommend, even though we haven't slept here yet, but I would recommend to stay here. I think it's a pretty nice spot. Hi. Oh, 
know he's getting down. <laughs> oh my god. Good morning from Ella. We're about to have breakfast. Had good seven hours of sleep. And today we're going zip lining. So that's gonna be very exciting. And then later on we're heading down south. So we're still not sure where we're staying tonight as always, but that's part of the adventure. And um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy now and I'll update you guys later. The weather is looking amazing, so it should be really, really beautiful. So this is where the zip line begins. And you go all the way here till the point over there. I honestly thought it was gonna be worse. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think I could do this. It's happening. So, it's time to go. I'm giving the camera to Sadat. <laughs> See you later. Yes, I'm coming. Fun. What did you think about it? Yeah, it was really good. It was really yeah, fun. A lot of fun. Definitely, definitely recommend it if you guys come to Ella. It's beautiful views as well. Yeah. It's not that long and it's not that high, so. Yeah. So I thought it was gonna be a lot more scary. I mean, I didn't like love it, but it was really fun. I thought it was gonna be like <laughs> cross cliffs, like if you see that cliff, like yeah, or that mountain there. I thought it was like from. It's gonna one be more intense, yeah. To another mountain, because of all the hype that Brie put on it, but. It was still nice. It was, it still, was good. still good, yeah, definitely do it. It's like a baby zipline. By the way, the longest zipline in the world, I think, is in the UAE, actually. Isn't it? In Jebel Jai? Something like that? So. We need to this. try that, actually. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye, man. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. We stopped for some cold coconuts. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. It is very good. Actually, a lot of the coconuts here are like room temperature, so it's quite strange to find one that is actually chilled. And oh, it it's tastes really nice. so, so good. Cool. Ice cold. <laughs> More refreshing that way, yeah. Okay, so we're going now to the car. We're gonna go to Nine Art Bridge, right? It's uh, the bridge that we went on yesterday when we were coming to Ella. And, oops, sorry. Tuk tuk. And it's a um, very popular spot for like pictures. It's very scenic and it should be very, very nice. So we'll check it out and then we're gonna head south. We are hiking to the Nine Arch Bridge. It's like about a 15 minute walk um, from where we parked. So it's not far from Zipline. And we're meeting people already who are coming back and they said, oh, we missed the train. But that's okay. I mean, it would be nice to see it, but it just goes a few times a day, so it's not like we're dying to see it. But I can't wait to see that bridge. Hopefully, it won't disappoint. <laughs> I'm 
guys so this is a couple of days later it is actually our last day in Sri Lanka and we have to leave today so I wasn't feeling too well yesterday I slept about 12 or 13 hours last night and I'm finally feeling better I was so afraid um, that you know I'm not gonna be fit to travel but I'm feeling good now and I just wanted to talk about a few things before um, I finish this vlog and it's basically just something I've noticed about the our stay here in Sri Lanka so what I noticed in Sri Lanka is that the quality and expense ratio is really good in terms of accommodation um, so for example we stayed in Hawaii and other quite pricey places and we would be paying like three times the price and we would be getting accommodation that is way worse compared to like Sri Lanka so I really really like that about this place um, I also noticed that the tipping culture is really big so be prepared you know to tip like everywhere i don't know if it was just us but like we were quite asked quite often to tip you know in like holy places that we visited and stuff like that so i was a little bit surprised about that but um yeah in general the people here are amazing the food is very spicy i don't really eat spicy food and that was a bit of a challenge for me but um overall it's just a wonderful wonderful place to relax to um you know explore to surf we went surfing actually as well yesterday morning uh, here in the south and it was amazing so Veligama beach is just perfect for that and um what else did I want to mention? Um, we also went whale watching. It was not my favorite thing, to be honest with you, because I felt bad, you know, that we are cornering this creature to, um, to, to see it. Like, it was not nice. Like, there's lots of boats, like six, I think, boats in total that were surrounding the whale, and I just felt, like, so bad. But JD really wanted to <laughs> go whale watching, and I just was like, okay, let's go. Um, but yeah, I don't really encourage that. Also, another super strange thing that happened to me here was I had really deep dreams, which is quite unusual. And I don't know whether it's because we were out the whole day and, you know, we were just like tired, but like I had really weird dreams like that I gave birth and it was just like I looked it up what it means. And it basically means that, you know, you're either pregnant in real life, which I'm 100 percent sure I'm not, or it means that it's like a new phase of your life. So I was just wondering, guys, if you are into reading the meaning of your dreams as well or it, you know it's just something that like i like but um i kind of believe in it because it's like our subconsciousness is telling something you know to us in a way i think and it's really really cool so let me know what you guys think about uh the meaning of dreams all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i will be linking the accommodation we stayed in down below i will also write some suggestions in the description box as well and we are going now for a quick massage before we have to go to the airport and uh, i think that's it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye